Hey, mi gente, it's Junie and Steve. You already know my name, but if y'all new here, hey. Today, we're going to be talking about Donald Glover, aka Childish Gambino. And we're going to be talking about him being anti black. And yeah, it's gonna make more sense when we get further on in the video. Or maybe you already know certain things that he has done that are very questionable. But if you do not, do not worry. I'm going to explain it in this video. Okay? Okay, okay. We are going to start now. Donald McKenney Grover Jr. was born on September 25, 1983 to black American parents Reverly Smith and Donald Grover Sr. He was born at Edwards Air Force Base, California and raised in Stone Mountain, Georgia. Grover was raised as a Jehovah Witness, but he is no longer religious. He has two siblings, Stephen and Brianne. Grover graduated from the New York University Tisch School of the Arts with a degree in dramatic writing. While at Tisch, he self-produced the independent mixtape The Younger I Get, but never released publicly. <laughs> Skip, skip, skip. Producer David Meyer and actress Tina Fey hired him to become a writer for the NBC sitcom Dirty Rock from 2006 through 2009. He also had occasional appearances and officially did a major role in Community in September 2009. He was on the show for five seasons. Skip, skip, skip. Grover continued to have successes with his music career, four albums by the way, and successful acting careers, Cough Cough, Community, Ananta, and The Lion King. Okay, on to the video. Before I start, I just want to say if you hear any birds in the background, yes, that's my pets. Or if you hear noise in general, that's my pets in general. Sorry. Why is Childish Gambino anti black? For starters, this is America. I'm so pretty. I'm on Gucci. I'm so pretty. Yeah, yeah. I'm on. Back in 2018, Childish Gambino released his hit single, This Is America, and it was based on blackness and police brutality being the main themes of the music video. People had issues with how he depicted black people, especially black women who are darker skinned, specifically dark skinned black girls. And I'm not going to lie and be a hypocrite. I was a huge fan of the song and I was a fan of the music video. But then, of course, now as an adult, I see why it is a problem and I know I got so many freaking views. And then a few people criticized him pretty well during that time. And I'm going to read a few of their quotes. And then in between, I'm going to probably say my opinions about what they said. This is America by Jazz the Feminist states. For one, I feel like Gambino is just now coming into his blackness and using it for monetary gain, which I have a problem with. He has Ananta, a super black show, and Redbone, the blackest feeling song he's ever made. What do these two have in common? They're extremely successful. Grover 
got an Emmy for an episode he directed and a Grammy for Redbone. It's crazy because I didn't even know that he won these prestigious awards. I did not know, but I'm not surprised. And I do think he does want to gain money. I do also believe that he did it because like Jazz the Scientist said, he's coming into his blackness. He feels like he is having a awakening, if that's a better way to put it. And he wants to feel like he could just come in and be an activist all of a sudden. I do also want to point out two things. He depicts black women in a certain way, but I'm not trying to skip, so wait, it's better. And the second thing I want to mention is that this is the first time he's put dark-skinned black women in his music video. Yeah, his music video. Redborn. But stay low. Redbone is a 2016 Childish Gambino song that came out around November of 2016. And the song received praise, but thankfully there were people that criticized the song. And before I give my critiques and read sources, I do want to acknowledge that I do not like the song. The article, Tracing the Red in Redbone. Colorism and Misogyny in Black History by Dominique Cooper. She states, My peanut butter chocolate cake with Kool-Aid. This line from the 2016 song Redbone by Childish Gambino, aka Donald Glover, describes the appearance of a light-skinned black woman with a bright red undertone to her skin and color, a red bone. The figure of the untrustworthy Redbone woman is a common theme in contemporary rap lyrics. When you're young, you do not notice certain things when you hear music, and I'm one of those people. While growing up, there were certain songs that I was a huge fan of, and I didn't notice how they were saying certain terminologies like light skin, Redbone, or um or talking about how they prefer these certain types of women in their lyrics or showing it in their music videos. This article pointed it out in so many ways and I'm thankful that I've come to an age where I notice why these issues are a problem and also that I notice that that it does affect us because I've seen it now it does affect us. And I mean, it, of course, back then too. But what I'm saying is, if we continue to not talk about these things, it's going to get worse. Dominique continues Gover is only one on a lengthy list of music artists who have used their platform to one dimensionalize black women, dehumanizing dark skin while praising light skin. When songs like Redbone demonstrate skin tone preferences, it impacts the people who listen to it. It does. This does affect us. It affects black people and it even affects mixed with black people too. But we all know there's a certain type of shade that people prefer of mix with black people to look like and then we all know there are a certain type of shade people prefer black people to look like yeah yeah it's it's gross but uh, mm, mm, mm. I like to, I like, you know, I've said this in my restaurant, I like to date the black girls of every culture, you know? Or, you know, like, Filipinos. They're like the, the black girls of Asians. <laughs> Armenians. This is like the, the black girls of white girls. <laughs> I was, no, I was dating this Armenian girl and um, we, we were, we were ma making sex. <laughs> uh, 
I was having sex with her, and I was having sex with her, and we were towards, towards the end. And she goes, fuck me harder with that N-word dick. <laughs> and I stop. Look at her right in the eye. And I came harder than I've ever had <laughs> before. It was so awesome, you guys. It was so great. Like, I was like, what? Like, I couldn't believe it. Like, it was almost worth being black my entire life. It was. <laughs>
yeah, sure, she's a great actress, Danielle, but that's not the point. That still doesn't make it okay for making her a stereotype. I feel like if they were willing to make two of the characters, one who's light skinned and one who is dark skinned, being portrayed like this, I may be like, oh, it's whatever, but I still think it's still bad because we do not need more negative portrayals of black women from light to dark. And I do feel like this is tacky because they make it seem like black women are really invested in black men interracially dating, especially with white women. But in reality, it's like, as long as you don't bother me or as long as you're not anti-black, it's whatever. Of course, not every black woman is like that, but come on, come on, come on. Speaking of his hit show, Ananta, Hariana Hook, which by the way, she has a YouTube channel. Go check it out. It's very good. Hariana did an article about Ananta back in 2018 and it's very good i'm going to read you guys a few quotes from me heriana states throughout the series black women are stereotyped to the point where it makes me want to roll my eyes to another dimension heriana uses the words ditzy annoying loud disrespectful and attention seeking to describe the characters specifically the women characters of Ananta. In the episodes Words and FUBU, she talks about how they stereotype the black women characters. In one of the episodes, I think one there was a stripper. For what I researched, the only character that is a woman in the character and is colored, coded as a black woman is Zaze Beats character, Van. And in case you did not know, Zaze Beats is a biracial woman mixed with black women or however you prefer to call it. And I know some people will be like, how dare you? Da, 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 da. Calm down. But second of all, I'm not the only one who be saying this. I mean, it is a real thing. She actually is biracial. But the, the point is, She's the only person who has depth in her character. Like, an actual personality. Donald Glover, aka Childish Gambino. It's not your interracial relationship that is the problem. It's you. Writer Morgan Smith made an article on Donald Glover's response after critics say he cannot be woke and be in an interracial relationship. There was a special relationship between Lando and L337. Mm -hmm. uh, and I wanted to know, because there's been a lot of conversation about like, who you love depends on how conscious you can be. Like, if you love someone differently from who you are, can you still be conscious to who, your core people? Wow. That's what love, I think, really is at the end of the day. It's like, you know, it's not even like a selflessness, but it's like, you know, an, an understanding that the, I'm making a safe place for you. You know, because like this, it's not safe out there. Some somebody's out to get you. That's just nature. You know, that's just the nature of being. And I feel like, yeah, you can totally love somebody and and still look out for yourself. But it, I think the question really is, do you see that part? Do you see that thing or that someone else as a part of you? Yeah. Like, you know, like if if if, if you see it's like we're a people together or we're a tribe together or like we we depend on each other, then you always are going to want the best for them. I think. What bothers me about Childish Gambino's response is that it's clear that he wants to tiptoe around the question. It's clear that him saying all oh, that I could check out for myself is very out of touch because this song is not even just about you. It's about the whole black community, not just about you. And what bothers me is the fact that he thinks it's about only him talking about, oh, I got to check for myself while I'm also in an interracial relationship. It does not work like that. And there comes to a point where there's going to be a time you're not going to relate to the average black person who is not in an interracial relationship. Because at that point, 
your children are not going to be the same as a black child with two black parents and also that relatability is not going to be the same compared to someone who is in a relationship with a black partner and they happen to be black too but at the same time if this is how he feels this is how he feels but we have a right to criticize him yeah we do Andrew Ricketts made a great article on Donald Glover titled Me, Donald Glover, and Black Trauma Lovers Who Date White Women. I'm going to quote three things from the article, okay? Okay. Andrew Ricketts states, Donald Glover is a race man. He uses his art to comment on the dynamics of American racism and, by extension, American desire. He's cozy with subversion and the mechanics of satire. His breakthrough series, Ananta, did more for his reputation as an art terror, art terror, whatever, than his brilliant celebrated rap album, Because the Internet Did. That's because in each, Gover's definite trickster bent shows his willingness to paint himself as an imperfect artist who is aware of the white gaze and who often shamelessly seeks it. As a writer of nonfiction, satire, and memoir, I'm realizing that the tendency to confess isn't enough. Andrew went there. He sure did. I can't help but wonder who Donald Glover's black girl crushes were when he was walking to school. I wonder how he faced up to or retreated from their rejection. It would do a lot to explain why his portrayals of black women, whether in regressive, childish Gambino songs, or stilted Atlanta scenes, seem resentful. I didn't thought about this, but now that Andrew mentioned it, I'm kind of curious too to know who he had a crush on that was a black woman, because all black girl obviously during his time because he was a kid or whatever but I'm, I'm very curious because it could mean maybe that's why he depicts black women of a certain shade differently than other black women who knows but I'm curious to know too the final quote like black male authors before him, he struggles to understand how harming our woman ultimately harms the story. Rather than go there, he'll tiptoe around it in cutesy interviews with himself claiming greatness until his blind eye turns to a black one. Wow. Andrew did a great job analyzing this because it's important for us as black men to depict black women in a great way and uh, and of course yes we all have our experiences with black women and all mixed with black women that were not present and maybe you want to share that in your work but the way childish can be known Donald Gover or whatever you want to call him does it is extremely bad and it's harmful and it gets weird to some point especially because he's in an interracial relationship and I'm not saying black men who are with black women in a relationship should portray them in a bad way too in the media that's not what I'm saying what I'm saying is that nuance just have nuance try to balance things out and hear constructive criticism because there are ways to write black women in a better way or have black women in the room like how Shamira suggested in her writing 
on her critiques of Atlanta's final season. But also, I do think Childish Gambino needs to start hearing people's criticisms about him. And before we even go to concluding statements, I do want to mention that he's going to be in a miniseries with this Japanese and white woman, Maya Erkensi. I think I said her last name right, I think. It's going to be a miniseries, and it's going to be on Amazon Prime, blah, blah, blah. It's based on the movie, blah, blah, blah. And they're going to be a couple, an interracial couple. Wow. Mm -hmm. And originally, Phoebe Warner Bridge was going to star with him, but she backed out. And then, also, there's more. He's going to be writing certain episodes on the show. He's going to be co-producing, and I believe he's going to be directing. You see, it's relating to his reality. Good job. Good job. Concluding statements. I hope Childish Gambino, Donald Glover, does better with his writings, especially because he has a deal with Amazon and we don't want to see more disingenuous portrayals of black women or writing, whatever. We just do not want to see it. Keep it to yourself if that's the case. If you do not want to write black women good, might as well not have them in your work. Another thing I do want to mention quickly is I do believe that Donald Glover, aka Childish Gambino, went through certain things growing up as an awkward black man. Best believe I was considered an awkward black man. I think I'm still am considered that, but I've had people making fun of me just because of the way I am and how I present myself. And I've even made a few videos about that, talking about that. And in some degree, I can empathize a bit with Childish Gambino, but it's like we have to do better. And there comes a time where we have to stop making excuses about, well, black women didn't see me as attractive, or black women didn't want me, or black people as a whole made fun of me, or black people this and black people that. In my situation, I was mostly picked on by non-black people and experiencing racism, specifically by non-black people. Of course, I experienced colorism before, mostly light-skinned black men and all biracial men. To some degree, I don't, I do not know Childish Gambino's background, and we do not know his background why he was a child. So I cannot say exactly everything right but i do think that we all have our unique experiences growing up with black people mixed with black people or non-black people as a whole and i want to try to empathize a bit with him but at the same time i want to keep it straightforward and be like this is wrong but i do think we need to think about it a bit more deeper on why he may be this way and I hope with this video this helps thank you so much if you made it this far in this video I appreciate you be sure to like this video please comment please share I worked very hard hopefully you guys see that but yeah, if you want to share the video because YouTube is not freaking recommending my videos. But yeah, I'm wishing the best for Donald Glover. And if he does see this video, even though I know he's not going to see this video, I hope you're doing fine. I hope you write better. And I hope you hear constructive criticism from us. And I'm not going to be watching your interracial show. Sorry, not sorry. Thank you and...